Vasquez is one of the best and the most colorful quarterbacks in football. He led the Chicago Bears to a victory in Super Bowl XX. These days, he plays for the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings finished uh, season second in their division and uh, competed in the playoffs. Uh, please welcome Jim McMahon. Hey, I appreciate you coming. You didn't get it till a second ago. I know the. It was, yeah, it was a. It was rough trying to get plane. out of Chicago today. I'll tell you oh that. boy, it's not boy. the place to be right now. <laughs> but you made it okay, so that's good. A lot of delays. Well, they they got a big ice storm back there in the Midwest, and it was uh, it was tough getting out. But I'm glad I'm here in the warm weather for yes. now. Anyway. Well, see here, the earthquakes would just crack the ice, and you wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd much rather be in the cold, I think, than huh? being a being the being a rumbled building. No, see, I have the, I'm the exact opposite. Because to me, I don't, I don't mind dying as long as it's a nice day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Well, I, I just don't want to freeze to death and get an ice ball in the eye. It's annoying. Yeah, I grew up in California, so I, I miss the weather a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah. uh, we really like it there in Chicago. Oh, other other Chicago. than the winter, it's a great city. Yeah, yeah. And the best uh, barbecue beef sandwiches. You can't get that here. There's, there's a lot of good food there. Yeah, we have different perspectives on how we look at these things. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you about something now. We've been, we've been teasing about uh, Troy Aikman, and uh, we wouldn't tease him if we didn't know he was fine and, and, and he's okay. But that concussion really sort of knocked him out, from what I understand, and, and couldn't remember the game or what happened. To, has that happened to you quite a bit? Have you had that happen? I've had a number of those concussions, and it's, uh, it's a little scary at first. Yeah. You know, be, well, you don't really remember it until much later. You know, I, I played with a concussion and don't really remember what happened until I saw the film later. But uh, once the you, know, you get over the headache, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. yeah well, once the bleeding stops, essentially. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess I would, you would probably have more of those concussions. Because you, sort of, you sort of started the head bunting thing, didn't you? About, wasn't that yours? Did you? Well, my roommate and I back in Chicago, uh, we started doing it just, just for kicks, you know, to see if we can <laughs> knock each other out. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> there's nothing better to do on a Saturday night. You know, we're, we're locked up. And, and uh, we started doing that back in... Really, the early '80s. And, yeah. Uh, so you were. You I'm were lucky. I'm still. I'm still able to, to walk around, probably. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you ever knock anybody out after a headbutt? Did you ever do it? Go. Oh, I shattered his skull. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I just... no. The guys I'm usually hitting are about 300 pounds. So yeah. Yeah. I'm not really doing too much damage to them. <laughs> I think my vertebrae are a little compressed from all that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I feel pretty good. Can I ask you about the headband thing? That was a big. Controversy back in, in, in Super Bowl 20, and I thought that was funny when you had the. Uh... Well, that I mean, I've been wearing a headband since uh, right. really college. Uh, I wear it because of that. The helmet is very irritating on, on the forehead and right. rubs the skin off, and so I've been wearing it to, uh, you know, to keep the skin on my head. And uh, back in the during the Super Bowl, we got a lot of problems from the commissioner about free advertising, and uh, so during the Super Bowl, I couldn't wear the company that I was endorsing at the time. And a lot of people sent me a lot of different headbands, and, and I decided to wear uh, a lot of charity things. And I figured they couldn't, they couldn't find me for wearing charity things. Right, so, right. Uh, it worked out real well. Did they pass a rule? Did, did they pass a rule after Well, they've that? had rules since uh, stating that, you know, you can't wear <laughs> names of companies on anything, you know, yeah. headbands, shoes, whatever. But, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, they created the monster. Now yeah. So you married, what, four kids? Four kids, yeah. They all love your show, too, Joe. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. So how old's Tom the oldest? There. <laughs> how old's the oldest? Uh, the oldest will be 11 this July. Then I have a nine-year-old boy, then yeah. a six-year-old girl, and another three-year-old boy. Are they big sports fans? Do they play sports? Uh, my oldest son's into hockey right now. We're, yeah. uh, we're living in Minnesota. We're back in Chicago now, but he's, uh, he loves hockey. Yeah, that's hockey. the law. you got to play hockey. Yeah, he loves hockey, and uh, I, I really enjoy it, too. You know, I, yeah. I know a lot of the Blackhawks. And, um, that's just one sport we didn't do a whole lot out here in California growing up. Huh? Hey, I didn't get much hockey here. Now, tell me this is true. I could swear I saw you in a magazine with some models in, in a swimsuit thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, that was probably the town and country years ago. Oh, years ago. Okay, we'll years try to, ago. Try to put as much distance as possible. Yeah, that was uh, just, just a little layout in town and country idea with some models. <laughs> well, you seem to have come. My wife was there, and, and everything was <laughs> on the up and up. No, no, you seem to have... <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble? She'll be watching tonight. That's Nancy my job. Knows. That's my job. Well, you seem to have calmed. You seem mellower now. Are you mellower now? Uh, I probably still have a concussion. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, uh, I've really tried to stay out of the media and, and uh, stay away from interviews. But yeah. uh, I figure, you, you know, your show is, is one that I can come out. Well, no, Carl, break we my love to have you here. We love to have you here. We love to have you I heard my friend was here last night. Yeah, he was. And he was like the polite, you know, it was so funny. Uh, Buddy Ryan was here last night. And this is the guy who said, oh, they said, this guy, 
he, he's an animal. You get him going, he'll, he'll throw a punch. He's crazy. He's wacky. He was the politest guy. He came in. He had, a, he had that kind of Sunday, go to meet and suit on there. Did he have his white shoes on? Big time. Did he have his white shoes on? No, no, I don't think he did. Oh, he he was smiling. He, he, he was like a happy Wilford Brimley. He was kind of, <laughs> blah, blah. he didn't look like he would ever punch anybody. The nicest guy in the world. He is, uh, he is a nice guy. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. a hell of a football coach, and, and uh, the incident's been brought up over and over, but uh, that's Buddy. Yeah, mean, if you yeah. know him, that's, that's Buddy Ryan. Now, are you still doing the sunglass thing all the time? Because that was sort of a trademark. Well, I, I wanted to wear them out here because of these lights, but uh, yeah, I still wear sunglasses. Yeah, cause, well, you had a, but you didn't wear them just to be cool, which is a no, good I've, thing. Too. I've been wearing them since I was six years old. I yeah. had a uh, an accident with a uh, had my gun holster on, had a knot in it, and I took a fork to it and tried to get the knot out, and it slipped and. Oh, yeah, Ow, yeah, stuck it, yourself it did hurt. Uh, <laughs> two of the prongs went, you know, pretty far back. Ow, back, ow. If you've ever gone to the the eye doctor and got your eyes checked and had them dilated. And then they give you, you know, those little plastic yeah. black glasses to wear home. But that's how my eye feels all the time. So oh, I it's, it's constantly yeah. dilated, so any kind of light. And really a fork in the eye. It's not something I'd recommend. Oh, no, man. I got to say that. <laughs> I mean, you must have, one of the doctor must have said, I what learned you about eating? pain early in life, so I just kind of. <laughs> what do you got for the Super Bowl? What do you any predict? Well, everybody's making the same prediction. It doesn't seem fair, because it seems like we're picking on the bills. We don't mean to. But everybody's kind of making the same prediction. Now, you going to watch it? Well, I'm probably going to end up watching it. Yeah, yeah. I've got to do a, an appearance at Walter Payton's restaurant back in Chicago. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I really lost interest three weeks ago. Oh, you know, we, yeah. we got knocked out of the playoffs, and I could care less. Yeah, after that. that. But, uh, uh, it's no fun unless you're actually there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Hey, it's good to see you. Well, thanks, thanks for coming Jay. by. Jim McMahon. Right back right after this.